So we're going to start with the transparent red. So, so it's going, going here, right. 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 So right. what I'm thinking of doing you know, I'm sort of following Gary's lead with a lot of this stuff. You know, when we start printing, it just sort of goes off. I think we're going to do 15 of these large ones. Five black, five white, and five red, white, and blue. The idea for doing the American flag came out of a series of paintings I did a couple of years ago called Trusted Brands, centered around the idea of this iconic American imagery. But I thought to myself, well, what is the number one brand in America? And I thought, well, obviously the American flag. My idea was I was going to do a traditional American flag and I was going to play around with it and have fun with it, but I wasn't going to take it out of the proper context. Because I'm using vintage magazines, a lot of these are somewhat vintage memories. You'll see a lot of Martin Luther King and Kennedy and those things sort of tie back to the 60s. For me, it's more about using it for the color and texture than the content itself. The thing that I've learned about making art is that the most fun part is the making part, because that's where all the discovery happens. That's where all the mysteries are unfolded. And, and you know, when we're done, we roll off onto other projects, and that's the end of that until we come together again. It's like, being in a band, you know? <laughs> we're in the studio. This is what we're doing. And working with somebody like Gary and has got so much history and so much information. The fact that we have an opportunity to hang out every day and work one-on-one -on -one is a real treat. 